you Woody Jackie Dumas and check it out because in the famous words of the Chirac Grim Reaper, all that hating ain't gonna work. We're not into state distance, okay? Shoot your shot directly. If it is one, if it's not, shut it, okay? But it's common knowledge that Pusha T is pretty much, he doesn't like Drake or Wayne. And fuck the PC shit for this entire episode. I'm going to talk to you guys straight because a lot of these guys are doing so much fucking sneak dissing. It's like, yo, nigga, is there a beef or not? Now, I'm telling you this because I know Pusha T does not like Drake or Wayne. He thinks Wayne is fucking washed up. You know why? Wayne came out and it was been like over the last couple of years, he hasn't been getting the same reaction from the mass audience, even though, like, I mean, he's putting out some decent music, I think. He hasn't been getting the reaction. Not only that, like, his lyrical content has slipped a little bit. He's been stepping it back up recently. But he dissed Wayne on that Exodus song he put out. Now, he always gave Drake props. He said, yo, Drake is cool. He's actually dominating and doing his thing. But this year, it was a turning point. He does not fuck with Drake, all right? He ain't fuck with Drake at all. Now, especially we could see that when he's been doing interviews and he's saying, yo, listen, you know what's crazy out here? People are going in on Meek when Meek actually said some hip-hop shit. Meek Mill said a nigga's using a Ghost Rider and basically is going against the rules and the, like everything sacred in hip-hop. And people clowned Meek. And he said, I don't like when people get mad at the guy for telling the truth. Now... Whether you like Pusha T or not, okay? I never used to like him. I can't even tell you why. Maybe it's because he's a nigga who's 38 with fucking baby microbraids. I don't know. Listen, maybe it's because he has a face only a mother could love. I just don't know. Maybe it's... And to keep it real, he might be a cool person, but you know that one person? I don't know who you guys interact with, but every time you see him, you never ever talk to him, but you'd see the look on his face and be like, I don't like this nigga. I don't like this nigga at all. That's what it is for me and Pusha T. Okay, I've never met him, never talked to him. He just has that face. I'm like, I don't like this motherfucker, okay? Hopefully that changes, but I like his music. Musically, you can't doubt him, but there's something about this nigga. I just don't like this nigga. Anyway, pretty much um, he does represent a part of hip-hop that's fading, and that part is that bars matter. I mean, so he actually took some shots at Drake, okay? Now, I've been telling you all for the longest, Drake is L-proof. I mean, how the fuck do you get slapped, supposedly pissed on, exposed? Exposed for not writing all your stuff, and you're still fucking winning. Now, believe me, that doesn't rub a lot of people in the industry the right way. So basically, he sneaked this Drake on a track, and the track is called Crutches, Crosses, and Caskets. And best belief, the sixth guard is watching and also the negotiator. But the line says this, okay, it's a short line. He says, Old niggas slapping young niggas. Now, instantly when you hear that line, you should probably think, like, wait, is he talking about Diddy slapping Drake? Because that happened. Also, he mentioned uh, Diddy earlier in the same song, right? So, basically, he did an interview. They asked him about it. He kind of, like, uh, he was, like, really going around the question. You've seen stories of, of, of puffing a Drake altercation. Oh, yeah. And the slap, reportedly. Yeah. Is, this, is this allusions to that, or? I mean, I don't know. Like, I never talked to Puff about that. Okay. So, I don't know. And because of that, uh, a OVO member, OVO Hush, he basically said, fuck all this subliminal shit. He basically dared Pusha T to call out Drake, okay? He actually put up a snippet of the video, and he said this. He said, when you don't like someone, but you know they could destroy you effortlessly, hashtag hand of God, hashtag scared, hashtag back to back phobia, hashtag double dare you next time, hashtag beware of the singing nigga, hashtag man up, hashtag closing your eyes helps, hashtag closing your mouth works better, hashtag at least Meek has Nikki. What's up with these hoe ass like a million hashtags? Nigga, write a fucking sentence. But regardless, OVO Hush, if you don't know who he is, he's pretty much not only a goon, he's a fucking writer, okay, he's a weed carrier at times, he does every fucking thing, he's a multi-purpose OVO member, okay, he does everything, he's from Canada, he's a guy who everybody fucks with, and when he speaks and says this, it actually kind of gives us somewhat of an idea what Drake is probably thinking, Drake ain't fucking with Pusha T, you could best believe it, if his guy, his right hand guy, or one of the guys who's in the circle, is saying, man, this nigga Pusha T better call a name or shut the fuck up right he's basically saying listen this boy Pusha T don't want it and that's pretty much what it is man listen to be honest I think Pusha T could hold it down lyrically in a battle do I think battles or rap battles nowadays is only about lyrics no we've seen it with Meek Mill to be honest social media contributed just as much as back to back so it might be a lot of things but all I'm gonna say is that listen Pusha T and anybody else shoots a shot shoots a shot directly okay 
don't go around the bushes if there is one, okay? Or I, I know what he's going to come out and say, right? This is this this is the classic PC fuck shit right here. He's going to come out and be like, yo, I didn't I didn't diss Drake. Drake is a good artist, this, that, and third. But everybody knows you diss Drake. You're sneak dissing him, okay? Okay, stink this and bad for your health, man. Push your T, call that name, bro, because I want to see who's the next contestant on the Summer Jam screen. So, what is Jackie Demings? What do you guys think, man? Push your T versus Drake. Would you guys be interested in that at all? Come out.